Walk By and you're watching Sound Beautiful. Today I'll be taking you through the issues that women have to deal with with styling themselves on a day-to-day -day basis or even if it's for a style revolution. I'll be taking you through the things you need to know to style yourself properly. There are three basic things that a woman needs to know to be able to style herself adequately and with confidence. I always say that a woman's styling starts from the inside out. So we will start with those three things. First, you have to deal with your mind. Second, you need to deal with your underwear. Third, you then graduate to the things that people see on the outside, your outerwear. So with your mind, people will tell you how you should look or what size you should be, but that doesn't matter. Just remember, as long as you are healthy and you are happy, you don't need to change your size. So as long as you are healthy, healthy, and you are happy, you're fine exactly the way you are and you can style yourself. Two, your underwear. You must learn, you must go to an accredited um, specialist store and learn exactly what your size is. Have yourself measured, have yourself tested, make sure that you know exactly what your size is and stick with it. So whatever it is that you're told your style is, go with that and stick with it. Learn what the size is for your underpants. If it is too small, it will leave unattractive lines on your outerwear. If it is too big, it does the same thing. It sags and it leaves the same lines. So remember, find out from an accredited store exactly what your size is for your bra and what your size is for your underwear. Finally, we come to your outerwear. Once you have your underwear, there's nothing more important than your underwear and your state of being, the state of your mind. Once those two things are sorted, your outerwear is fine. You then learn, you then have to learn, rather, the, the shape of your body, the type of body you have. There are four different body types, distinct body types. Everybody's unique, but there are four distinct body types that you can fit into. There is the inverted A, there is the proper A shape, there is the hourglass figure, and there's the column figure. The inverted A is where a woman's shoulders are slimmer or narrow, and then her hips are wide. There is the proper A, where she has wide shoulders and she has hips that are slimmer than the width of her shoulders. There is the hourglass figure, where a woman is balanced, that is, her shoulders and her hips are about the same size, and her weight goes in from the hips and away from the bust. And then there's finally the column shape, where a woman has the same size of um, shoulders and the same width of hips, and also roughly about the same width in her waist, so she is straight like a column. There is nothing wrong or bad or terrible about any of these body shapes. You just need to learn how to dress your body. All right. Give us some money, no big problem. Man is on the block. All right, I'm back again. Do you know what time it is? Straight up. All right, what's up? Listen. So I will tell you these quick tricks. Whatever it is that you want to look like, whatever it is that you want to do, remember what you're working with is the beholder's eye line. So you take the eyes wherever you want them to go, with your accessories, with your clothes, the details of your clothes. Whatever you do, whatever you wear, you draw the eyes to wherever there is the most detail. So remember this. The eyes will go to where there is detail. The eyes go first to white and then to pattern and then to colour and then to black. So this is the reason that white makes you bigger because the eyes always go first to white. Remember this. The eyes go first to white, then to pattern, then to colour, then to black. So these are the things that make a person look bigger or smaller depending on how you black it. If you want to draw attention, for instance, to the size of your head, this will depend on the hairstyle you use. To make a bigger head look smaller, you would want sleek hairstyles that frame the face. If you want a smaller head to look bigger, you want bigger hair, you want detail on your head. 
you draw attention to things you put onto that area of your body. For instance, in the neck, you want the neck to look longer and sliver. You need to take the eye down with your necklace and with your neck man. You take the eye downwards and it gives the illusion of a longer neck that goes all the way straight down. You want to make the neck look shorter. You can wear a high neck dress, a high neck shirt, a turtleneck shirt, something that cuts the neck up right at its base. This makes it look shorter and this doesn't allow for the person to wear like they are elongated. If you'd like for your bust to look bigger, you would need to raise your neckline as high as possible. This just gives you a higher, fuller bust. If there is writing across your chest or if you're wearing a brightly colored item across the chest, this will draw the eyes in that direction. On the opposite side, if you want to minimize the bust, you would want to lengthen the neck. You want it to look like there is more neck space. Where you cover your neck, you make it look like all of that is bust. So if you want to make your bust look smaller, take the eye downwards. I'm not saying you have to wear something that shows a lot of cleavage. You just need to have chest and neck space. This makes the bust smaller. You don't want to wear darker colors around the bust. You don't want to have any detail that's right at the top of your bust or any writing that goes right across the chest. And you certainly do not want to wear a different colored belt. Whatever the color of your belt is, it is a continuation of the shirt or the top of the dress that you were wearing. So if you break your body, it makes the bust look bigger. It makes it look like from here to here, all of that is bust. So remember, you need your neck space. Also, you need waist space. You need space between your bust and your waist. So if you're going to wear anything that has a big bottom, it could make your bust look bigger if you don't leave some space between your bust and the waist, or else everything just looks like one thing. If you'd like to have a smaller waist, take the eye to the waist. To do this, you need your sleeves to cut off where your waist is, you need accessories to stop where the waist starts. Take the eye in the direction of the waist. If you're wearing something that has detail, wear something that the details take the eye in the direction of the waist. The lines go in at the waist, everything goes knit in at the waist. This makes the waist look much smaller. And then a wider bottom, like a peplum top or a bigger skirt, also gives the illusion of a small waist where it just looks like there's this one small thing and everything else is bigger. So these are the things that help you to make the waist look smaller. If you would like to draw attention to the hips, take the eyes there. You can put, you wear something that has detail around the hip line or wear a belt around the hip line or if your bracelet stops where you keep your hips stop, that will take the eyes there. If your handbag ends where the hips start, it will take the eyes there. So if you want your hips to be wider, take the eyes. If you also don't want your hips to be the center of attention, draw the eye away from the hip and to another part of the body. Just remember, everything is about a trick of the eye, even for the neck. To elongate the neck, you take the eye downwards and around the neck so that it makes the neck look longer and more graceful. Every single thing is a trick of the eye. So remember that when you're getting dressed and you'll be fine. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day.